The Buffalo Bills, first, uh, I don't spend too much time on the Tennessee game, but I found I was in an island here. I want him to kick that field goal. No, you kicked the field goal. You kicked the field goal. That's not counter. I'm screaming at my television. Kick the field goal. You shake your head all you want. Real quick, three reasons why. One, that exact play they ran failed on the touchdown drive before to to, uh, Tommy Sweeney. Exact same play. He was hit by three separate Titans. It did not work. Two, you could not call a timeout. Going up to the line there, because they'd already called a timeout to stop the clock leading up to when he didn't get the first down. You call it again, it's a 15-yard penalty, it's a no-go. So when the Titans, third reason why you don't kick, saw them lined up in what they had, because the Titans had them come out again, then Vrabel called a timeout. You've been checkmated. At that moment, you kicked the field goal, because everybody knows what's coming. Everybody knows what package you're running out of. Your chances of succeeding, no matter what the next-gen stats say, are infinitesimal before at that you, moment. Before you debate him, I would also throw in, I says, for me... Generally, if you're the better team, take the extra 10 minutes. Thank you. If Tennessee is in the same position as Buffalo, I say go for it. But it was Buffalo, kick it and take the extra 10 minutes to beat him. The floor is yours. First of all, you couldn't (laughs) stop Henry even if you wanted to. Second of all, you know full well, nine times out of 10, if he doesn't slip, he gets that first down. He's good. Listen, you know full well the Buffalo Bills had that game, should have won that game, and it wasn't going to be in overtime. It was going to be in regulation. You're on the road. You got a bye week. You'd steal that win and you get out of Dodge. That's what you do. go. It didn't work. Ah! Because he slipped. Not no. to the next-gen stat that go you're giving me. Go back and watch the replay. Even if he doesn't slip, Deion Dawkins, I love him to death, he got blown up on that play. And again, the same exact play. The last touchdown drive did not work, but everyone forgot about it because it was on first down and you scored on the drive. Well, wait a minute. We love it when Josh Allen runs, right? We love every single moment. of matter of fact, we love it more than we love our running back. Sure. In a moment where he could have sure. actually gotten that first down, he didn't get the first down even though he leaps over players. How is that possible? I love watching Josh Allen run so much. I want to see you run in overtime after you kick that field goal. You're not going to get the ball back. If Henry gets that ball, he scored three touchdowns, basically. They're going to run out the clock, get a field goal, game's over. I know you want to move on. Here is my point. You want to keep, keep bringing up Henry? Yes. This. yes. Henry ran for 176 yards. Yes. Yeah. I mean, excuse me, 140, what does, well, whatever. The point I'm making Three is, touchdowns. you take away that run in the first half, he ran 19 times for 67 yards, three and a half yards a carry. It wasn't that he was unstoppable. By the way, Bill's offense, also unstoppable in the fourth quarter. That's why they were on the one-inch line and had scored two drives before. It's a 50-50 shot. You were due a stop. You kick the field goal. No. You don't like to lose that game, but does this impact them going forward? And we got a bye week this week and no game to prepare for it, so you got a kind of chance to pull it, pull it up, and and look at what you. Well, got. I think Duffy is not concerned. I think he should be concerned just because of the chippiness of the teams that they've lost to. So number one, Tennessee, not great. But physical, played well. Defense has been amazing this entire season. They had a bad day. The, the other game was the Pittsburgh Steelers game. Josh Allen had a terrible day. Those things are going to happen. So you're going to get those moments where I think they are be- they are one of the best teams in the NFL, top five still, even though they're not rated in some players just because they lost two games. I just truly believe, though, when they go against a real chippy, tough team, it's going to get interesting, and it'll come down to a play like that on Monday night. All right, but here's the good thing. Chippy, tough teams don't go far in the playoffs in the NFL. You can play that way in the regular season. Great. Do what you want. The teams that excel are the teams like the Bills and the Chiefs traditionally and the Ravens that have high-flying offenses. Granted, the Ravens' defense is good. Look, I don't read anything into that game against Tennessee Sunday night other than the Bills are a bad matchup against the Titans, and you were still an inch away from winning that game. And let's keep in mind, too, not to make excuses, because I'm going to be the only one that makes them because McDermott won't do it and Josh Allen won't do it. You're asking a lot of any football team to go on the road back-to-back weeks in prime time and beat two of the premier teams in the league. You can look at the record of the Tennessee Titans. It don't matter. They were without their two massive wide receiver stars for the losses that they had. I'm not worried in any way. In fact, we are in better shape this season at 4-2 and two than they were last season at 4-2. and two. You're a game out behind the Ravens for the number one seed in the AFC East, and you got that win over the Chiefs. We're going. And with Tennessee them. did pay a hefty price, a lot of injuries at the end of that game, so I don't know how they're going to operate the rest it's of the year. It's amazing. Last year, thinking through 4-2, I mean, they lost only one game. The whole rest of the regular season pretty amazing. Boom.